In the AFC Central Division, the Pittsburgh Steelers stayed close to the Cincinnati Bengals in what looks like a season-long race to the title. Pittsburgh quarterback Terry Bradshaw is smiling because the Steelers are in the thick of the AFC Central Division race and have a shot at their first division title in their history. An all-purpose Bradshaw has been a major factor in the Steeler title drive, but early in their game versus Houston, the Steeler drive gears were not meshy. The Oilers gushed first when Ward Walsh, number 32, blocked a Steeler punt, and then outraced his teammates for it in a 7-0 Houston lead. Houston's hopes ride on their fine young quarterback, Dante Pastorini, number seven. But he does not have the supporting cast that Bradshaw has. On this day, he could manage just 40 yards passing as the Steeler defense blanketed his receivers and ate up his pocket time. Five times the Steelers sacked Pastorini for minus 40 yards to set the Oilers' net passing yardage for the game at an even zero. The Oilers' only threat was number 39, Robert Holmes, and the tank was at his steals treaded best. Steelers are much deeper at running back. Frenchie Fuqua, number 33, picked up 43 yards of a 60-yard drive that led to a Steeler field goal. Then first-round draft pick Franco Harris, number 32, carried 10 times for 46 yards of a 65-yard drive. Franco Harris had his first 100-yard day as a pro, capping it with a short touchdown plunge. Bradshaw then turned to his third starting running back. Bradshaw's eight-yard run was his fifth rushing touchdown of 1972. And his 11-yard pass to Frank Lewis, number 43, rounded out the Steelers' scoring. The Steelers' 24-7 victory over Houston kept them a game behind Cincinnati in the AFC Central Division. With a defense that did not allow a touchdown, and Bradshaw showing the way with his passing and running, that title may yet come Pittsburgh's way.